So, yeah, yeah. Now, now it should uh, it should arrive. So let's let me check on the live stream if you see this properly. It's always a good thing to to reply this. So to tell it again and again because it's really important. And it's really changes how you how you how you you know racing so it's uh it's very important right so let's say that you are in a very long straight and you are following a car at about 250 kilometers per hour right so you're you know monza or whatever 250 kilometers per hour it's usually a speed that you achieve uh, in a long straight before braking Okay, so now let's uh, um, say that you have a gap, and uh, this gap is of uh, 0 0.2, I mean, two tenths of a second, right? Two tenths of a second. Now let's do some calculation. Now, 250 kilometers per hour is 69 meters per second. Okay, 69, easy to remember. I know all you dirty minds over there. So, it's uh, 69 meters per second. So every second you cover 69 meters, okay? And you're following someone. Now, the gap between you two guys is 13.8, 14 meters. Which 14 meters means you are behind the other, ga the other car by one, to three cars, three cars distance between you and the guy in front of you. So it's not really that much. It's not really that much. You're pretty close, okay? So this all happens when you are at 250 kilometers per hour and you are away from the from the car. Four cars. Four cars is not much, but it's not. It's, you're not even you know close to the car. You're not even close to the car. You're not right behind his bumper you are four cars uh, three cars sorry three cars behind him and by three cars i mean you know from the front bumper of the car to the front bumper of you so this is two tenths of a second okay that is the situation so remind again 250 kilometers per hour you are traveling by 69 meters every second which means that for 0 0.2 seconds gap two tenths of a second the front bumper from the from your front bumper is away you know three to four cars 14 meters okay now let's change page now what happens is that you arrive at the braking zone okay to do the turn first turn all right um so you do this, okay, and how do you maintain your two tenths of a second gap? To maintain your two tenths of a second gap, it means that you have to, you know, do everything as fast as usual. So the front guy will do his turn at the same, he would start the braking at the same braking zone, and you would start your braking at the same braking zone, at the same brake reference, okay? Because in that way, if you do everything properly and you do the same lap times, you're still going to have two-tenths of a second gap between you. Now, here's the situation. So this is very important. You need to stay two-tenths of a second close to the guy in front of you. So you're doing everything as you're doing at every other lap. All right? So here's what happens. So you are going to break down to make the first turn to, let's say, 80 kilometers per hour. 80 kilometers per hour, usually, you know, it's a normal turn uh, speed for, for a slow turn. So 80 kilometers per hour means that you are going to travel now by 22 meters per second. So every second you cover 22 meters, okay? Which means that if you want to maintain still your two tenths gap, or even close it, okay. If you are maintaining your two tenths of a second of a gap, it means that from the front of the 
front car to the front of your car, the distance now is 4.4 meters. Now the Ferrari and pretty much all the other cars are over 4.5 meters length. 4.6, 5 meters, the Bentley is 5 meter long. Which means that if you break at your normal reference point, okay, you are going to hit him. There's no other way around it. So if he breaks at his reference point and you break at your reference point, you are going to hit him. It's physics. There's no other way, oh, I'm going to break sooner, I'm, I'm going to break harder. You cannot. You are both at the limit of your braking. And you, we also have, you know, ABS, so everybody is limited by that. So you are braking really, really exactly at your reference point. You are not doing anything wrong. You are doing what you did for, on all your laps, and you are going to hit the car in front of you. You're going to hit it because you are not long, not any longer, you know, doing 14 meters every second, but you are doing 22 meters. Uh, sorry, you're not doing 69 meters every second, but you're doing 22 meters every second. And to maintain your two second gap, you are just too close. So that is if you are away, okay, by 14 meters. Now imagine what happens if instead of you know, being here, all right? So imagine that your car instead is right here, okay? So if you're right here, you have slipstream, uh, you have less downforce, you're so close. I mean, if you wait for his brake lights to, to light and then brake yourself, the accident is 200% definite and sure. You cannot avoid it. You cannot avoid it. So you really, really have to brake much, much sooner before your braking reference point and before his lights go uh, light up, before his braking lights light up. You really have to brake. This is racing. If you want to race, you have to brake sooner. That's why we brake sooner. We, you know, we study where he brakes to understand what we can do. And at some point, you are at this point and you decide to break at your reference point, but you do so going into, in the, into the inside, if possible, so that you can overtake him. Okay, Because if you do it normally, then you, you're going to hit him. There is no other way around. You, you, cannot, you cannot better break. I mean, if alone you are breaking at your reference point that you know it is perfect, there is no way to, to break better than that. It's impossible. You're going to go... You know, later, it's, you, your braking reference points are for the perfect lap when you are alone, okay? In racing, you have to brake sooner if you have a car in front of you. There is no way that you can brake in a shorter distance. There, there is no way because your tires have a limited grip, your downforce is limited, your braking force is limited. So that is... Yeah, you, you need, you need, this is all about, I mean, this is racing. You really need to understand this and try it. I mean, don't just look at that. Go with the AI, okay, put it into something low level like 90, 92, whatever, okay, and try it. Go behind, I mean, put just one opponent of AI. We have AI, you can use it not only for racing, but you can use it also for training. So put behind, put what, just one opponent, go behind him and start trying to stay close to him without hitting him. So you will see that you need to break much, much sooner every time. Much sooner every time. Yeah, Monza, I mean, get one AI. Do this. I mean, guys, really, let's let's try this. So let's, I mean, it's, it's easy. Let's go to Monza. I mean, let's stay here that we have already practice. Go into a quick race whatever we don't we don't care uh, just one account put it something low like 92 all right uh, so we have made here this kind of you know quick race very easy so let's go in and here's what we're gonna do we're gonna follow the other car and see if we can break at the same point you see by you see Gandhi 
pay you. I don't know how to pronounce your name. So thank you so much, mate. I'm re really, I'm but sorry that I don't know how to to pronounce your name. Um, okay, so let's let's load our setup here. Load probably too much weight for 20 minutes. So let's you know have the same weight as as the car in front of us, something like this, and let's do it. All right, so now we are very close. So let's try to brake a little bit sooner and see if we can follow the car. You see? And you can always, you know, release the brakes and go back to him again. Now I will go very close again, and at least I will try. And I will try to brake at my usual Breaking zone, and you see already, I'm ooh, I'm all over around him because I went really close to him. So let me try again now. And boom, got him. There's no way to to avoid him. I mean, I was breaking 100% straight line. No way to avoid him. So you really have to break sooner. Practice it. Sometimes you need to break much sooner, sometimes just a little bit. And if you see the car in front of you going away in the braking zone, release the brakes a little bit and go closer. Now this is something that... Uh, Every time I listen to the uh, commentators in real races saying that, oh, now we have the elastic again, and you can see the car behind uh, the driver is so much better at braking, but then in the acceleration, the car in front has much power and he's going away. And this is so much bullshit. I mean, they don't understand a thing. That's why sim racers understand so much more from real racing, you know? Ooh, you see, I had to break so much before. Because they don't understand this concept. And they think that the car behind gets closer because it breaks later. No, no, it actually breaks sooner. But it gets closer because the speed is, is less. Okay, now, look at that. Let's let's move here. So I will okay. You see? I modulated the brake to go closer to him. So let's see this into a replay so I can explain you. So look at this in the replay. Like that. Let's uh, stop a little bit. We need also the HUD here. And we need to go slower like this. Now you will notice that I started braking sooner. And then you will notice here on the pedals that I saw the car moving forward, the opponent, and I modulate a little bit the brake to get closer to him. All that happened really fast. This is what you achieve when you have some practice, but you need to practice it a lot to be able to do so. So, here it is. Look at this. Let's go outside. Like that. Okay? So you will see that I'm going into the side so that I have some space and I'm starting to brake sooner okay so I brake here already he's going away I modulate you can see my let's go back a little bit here and leave it so that you can see now what's the brake pedal okay what's the brake pedal so we are arriving now at the braking zone usually I'm braking a little bit after the rubber line start and just before the 100 meter but you will see that now I'm braking before the braking line now I'm braking already and now I am modulating you see I release the brakes to get closer to him and then I brake again and now we are moving at the same rate together okay so this is how you do it this is how you stay close to the other car 
always start braking sooner to be safe and then modulate if you need to. Besides, the most important thing is having a better exit than him, so you need some fresh air to accelerate at the exit, okay? Uh, so that you can get you can get the, the slipstream and you know overtake him at the straight line. Because I see also many people doing this. So I will show you. Uh, I see many people doing the following. Let me go closer. So they are like, they are trying to break, whoops, uh, Akumi, <laughs> okay, let me go closer to him, okay, now we are quite close, so you, you have many drivers that they are so close to the opponent, they are trying with the braking to get as close as possible, like this, so braking late, now I'm so close to him and I cannot even accelerate because I have to wait for him to accelerate. Oops, sorry, my bad. So the problem here is that if I close if I'm you know following the the opponent way too close at the apex, okay, and then I cannot accelerate, I have to wait for him. Then, when he accelerates for first, it means that he's going to go away from me. So let's see if we can do this again. Let me get close to him once more. You see that I, I start braking a little bit sooner. So now I have to wait for him to accelerate. Look at that. I have to wait for him. I cannot accelerate. And now he accelerates and he going, he's going away from me. And he's at 90% uh, speed, so he's not even that fast. But he's going away from me now. Okay, so let's, let me go close to him again. So people are, you know, driving like this. And now he's away again. And I cannot get him on the next straight away see I have to wait for him and so he's going away from me so what have what I have to do is I need some space okay so that I, I can accelerate sooner than him I need some space here and a better line so possibly I can accelerate better than him get his slipstream and possibly, you know, overtake him at the next turn. Easy to say, difficult to do, but at least if you know the theory like that now, you know, you can do it. And uh, it, it works like this. And hello, safety ready. See, now I have to wait for him, and he's going away. But, if I give him some space, and I can accelerate better than him, like this, now I'm under the slipstream, and I can try the overtaking maneuver. So that's the important thing. Now, if you are in such situation, break as late as possible. Now you can do it, and you can overtake him. You can do the dev bomb. <laughs> All right. So I hope this was clear for you. Again, uh, I remind you, um, it's all about speed, distance, and time. Okay, that's all about it. I hope that that's clear for you. If you guys have any questions about it, let me know.